Hey, Ben. <laughs> okay, so I was originally going to get up here. Oh. I was originally going to get up here and do uh, a rant about. Well, not a rant. I don't want to say rant. It's a talk. It's not a rant. But I was going to do a talk about like how. Uh, you're, you're an independent developer and you're, you're basically allowed to do whatever you want to do and I was going to relate that to how we do press for Super Meat Boy and everything but I decided to take that idea and do something totally different because I can. So what I want to talk about is uh, the iPhone App Store. Okay? So um, if, if any of you know me, some of you do, uh, you know I absolutely fucking hate the iPhone App Store. I think it's awful. I think it's horrible. So about five months ago, I started an experiment. And this experiment was to basically prove, <laughs> prove that the App Store is kind of shit for most, for, for most things. There's, there's people like Adam down here that has Steve Jobs come over every like two weeks and dump like, dump like a truckload of money in his yard or whatever. What's that? Yeah, it's a giant novelty check and then Steve Jobs comes over. It's, it's a big to-do. You know, Adam is, is one of the lucky ones, and you know, it's, it's one of those things where the majority of people that do anything for the App Store, you know, they work on it, they kind of get screwed over. So, um, my, my theory about the App Store is basically that it is the tiger handheld game of this generation. And the reason I say this, I mean, back when I, when I was small, I had, um, I have them written down here. I had Mega Man 2, I had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I had Mortal Kombat, I had this little barcode thing where you could do like different moves by swiping the barcodes. But um, I had all of these and I was a fan of every one of these games. Um, but they were horrible. They were bad. They didn't control well. They didn't look good. They were LED crap. And I, I kind of compare the App Store to that because, I mean, honestly, who has beaten Mega Man 2 on the iPhone? Anybody? No. <laughs> Anybody beaten Sonic? Anybody played all the way through Sonic on the iPhone? No. And see, and then, and then yesterday, what, what came out? Street Fighter 4? And I know Greg was saying it's really good or whatever, but you can't play Street Fighter. He was, he was, he was out there, he was like, oh, it's really good, you're gonna love it. And I'm like, no, I'm not, it's, on, it's a t fucking touch screen. You can't, you can't play Street Fighter 4 on a touch screen. Just like the Tiger handheld, you cannot experience Street Fighter on a Tiger handheld. You can't experience any of these games. So what, what I did about five months ago, my App Store subscription basically ran out. And it ran out a long time ago. And somebody contacted me about a game called Free Money that Kyle and I made as a joke. And they wanted to buy it so they could do um, lottery tickets for various state lotteries. And they, they wanted to buy my Scratch technology. So, so I, I, I let them on for a little bit, and they were like, they wanted to give me like five grand or something for it, and then, and then they just kind of disappeared. I didn't care because I didn't take them serious in the first place. So when that, when that came, when my, I renewed my app store thing so I could show them the game, and, oh, and at that point, I, um, I had a game that I did with Adam called Zits and Giggles, which was also another joke game. Oh, God, it's so good, though. Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful game, and um, so... I put it up there, it wasn't selling, so I decided, well, fuck it, I'll put it up to $15. The day I put it up to $15, three people bought it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna put it up to $50. <laughs> Four people bought it at $50. <laughs> then I go, okay, I'm going to $150, and every time someone buys it, I'm going to raise the price tier. <laughs> it is at $350 now. <laughs> I stopped like paying attention to it after a while, and um, I checked it on Valentine's Day. Fourteen people bought it at two hundred and ninety-nine dollars. <laughs> so my conclusion to all of this is the 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 people that you're selling games to on the App Store, they're not necessarily gamers. There are some games that work very very well on the App Store, um, but I think for the most part, when you have stuff like Street Fighter and Assassin's Creed, they are a way to sell a brand, just like the Tiger handhelds were, and that's what I think of the App Store.